I'll start. Let me start. Up. You want to start? Go ahead. No. You want to start? Please. Well, let me. You want me to start? Or shall I? I could uh, pretend I'm talking to you, you know, like you do in Hollywood. You come in and watch people talk. You don't know what they're saying. They're not saying anything <laughs> usually. It's just a bazagagla bagazamanaka. That's right. Now we used to buy twenty dollars worth of film on that already. Are we rolling? But this good-looking man is, that. of course, who? Tell him who you are. <clears throat> I really don't know. <laughs> it's Ted Knight who plays. <laughs> they always say the egocentric anchorman, Ted Baxter, on the fabulously successful Mary Tyler Moore show. Do you, I always... really don't know why they refer to me as that kind of person. I'm really not vain at all. I'm humble and lovable. You're something that every anchor man should have, of course, and you know that humble, I'm not perfect kind of a guy. Yes. Uh, it would help the industry tremendously if they all assume that sort of retiring, uh, innocent, uh, lovable guy. <laughs> Ted, you know, you, you know what is so fabulously successful what time about is it? your character? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Louisville. Well, what, what time do we? Time. What time do we get to Burlington? <laughs> You know what's fabulously <laughs> successful about your characterization? You are such a ridiculous person, but you're so likable. And I think that's a great triumph of, of writing and interpreting on your part. Uh, yes, thank you very much. And you're right in both counts. Uh, Ted Baxter is a vulnerable human being. I think the reason why there is an empathetic uh, feeling towards him is because he does have uh, frailties. Yeah. And uh, you identify with that. In fact, all the characters do. Uh, uh, Ed Asner portrays a, <laughs> a man with a drinking problem. <laughs> and Gavin McLeod portrays a writer who is frustrated because that idiot there is continually lousing up his uh, Happy, huh? his uh, brilliance, you know. <laughs> how do you run yeah. a news how do you run a news department on two and a half people though? We we'd like to know that. <laughs> the management would like to know how you run it so cheaply. Did you ever see that redhead extra running back and forth there? He's there. <laughs> yeah, well that's an awfully small station. Yes, yes. You don't see the real behind the scenes activity. Uh, it is small by comparison, isn't it? It's very hard to run a, any kind of a TV station with a, yeah. a few uh, personnel. It'd look awfully busy if they really tried to make it authentic in terms of the amount of people that are you know, necessary. I'm not through talking now. Uh, pardon me. Uh, the stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You were well, saying, yes. I don't know. I forgot. I what was the know. question? I've forgotten that, too. I'm really sorry. I, <laughs> I, I wondered. I know there would be mornings like this. Now, there's actually something f physical that takes place when you're, you sort of puff up like a powder pigeon which is a wonderful, subtle way of saying, you know, I am the anchorman. Watch me, and what I say is of grave import. Dan Freeman of the San Diego Union had to put it the uh, best so far. He said, Ted Baxter is the only guy I know that can strut sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> May I use that? Sure, we just did. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've got a sense of humor. Oh. Doesn't he? I, I appreciate you very much. I like it. I've known many anchor men in my time. So have I. Uh, some of them are extremely fallible and very human, and others, you know, if they say a word, it's got to be that way, whether it, the dictionary agrees yes, with them or not. They're adamant. Right. And they're right because they are what they are. You know what I'd like to see more of? Whatever more, that means. Uh, uh, human beings. I'd like to see more on the air uh, scenes of you at the desk, you know, and the, I wonder if there's going to be any more of that this season. Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, the boys are putting together a surprise package for us, uh, which is based on a new trend that's taking place in the news world uh, recently, and that is the happy talk oh, yes. kind of uh, news giving. You know, they're very, all, they all indicate that they're affable and friendly oh, and right. nice people. And they say, hey, we're not, we're hi there, 90 people were killed on the subway today. <laughs> Isn't that fun, Chet? <laughs> That's a... <laughs> well, what about, now I notice you don't use your weatherman as much as you used to. And I say this as a Gordy. former TV weatherman myself. There's a lot of room for laughs in that. John kind of Amos thing. is a very funny man. And, uh, no, well, he, we haven't used him as uh, extensively uh, this past year as we might this year. But he's been very busy. Uh, it seems that everyone who's been on the show, even for a short spell, suddenly finds himself uh, overwhelmed with activity and, uh, and uh, uh, desire or ability in terms of uh, working. You got the impression... That sound right? Yes, yeah, sounds good. very good. <laughs> I thought you were a more secure person than that, Ted. 
Then what? Then you question. You seem to make a statement. Want to question it each time? You're doing wonderfully well. Well, you know what it is. I think it's uh, the terrible need to be loved <laughs> and accepted. Is that no. like Don Rickles? Yes. No. What it is is, uh, I think we're all, all of us, uh, have that need to. Um, make light of a situation that seems to be getting heavy. I expect to see Ted Baxter jams and jellies and sweatshirts coming out any time. I think, <laughs> <laughs> really, I do. I think you're a man that the that, ladies would follow. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? I think it'd be great. Oh, well, I did have something like that in mind, as a matter of fact. Why not? <laughs> the you sweatshirt mean, with, hi, guys. <laughs> That's right. And, uh, Could you use a Louisville <laughs> distributor? I mean, well, you're on, Bill. Well, you all moonlight, you know, we have to do something. Good, hey, it's like a great that. idea. You instigate it, and I'll sign it. All right. Hi, guys. Say, say that the way you do that. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. You're the, uh, the six o'clock anchor man. You know, when, uh, when uh, Ed Asner was here, he was a guest on our program. We loved him very much. He was a grand marshal on our big um, derby festival, the Kentucky did, Derby did, did he get paid for that? I think he... Did he give it all the goodness a, of his heart? I really don't know. He has but relatives he, here. We didn't pay him anything. I know that. He just hmm. asked me to pronounce it's his not name like correctly. It. <laughs> he said great things about all of you people. Well, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> no, we all we all really do, uh, in all seriousness, and this is a serious talk show. You know? <laughs> I don't know well, what it is anymore. <laughs> we all do really uh, enjoy each other tremendously and respect each other tremendously. You break up a lot on the set. Yeah. And in Ed's dressing room. We laugh at him a lot. Really? Especially when he's taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> he is a bit corpulent, isn't he? Yes. Not, not really. He's very solid. He's, uh, his whole family, he's got brothers that look like Mack trucks. <laughs> and no necks at all. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's small by comparison. That's right. Yeah. He's a way, I've known news, the news directors who look like that, as a matter of fact. See, that's, that's well, Ed reminds everyone of a favorite uncle or a cousin or a, or a news editor. He fits that character so well, and he is uh, really an exceptionally fine actor. Well, and what a good thing to be in a wonderfully successful and accepted show as yours. It's Best thing's ever happened to delightful. me. Delightful. Well, yeah. you're the kind of guy who looks on short notice as though you deserve it, and I congratulate you. Thank Say you. something in Ted uh, Baxter's as we sign off. All right. And uh, this is Ted Baxter saying for Milton, good night and good newt. I mean...